We're rolling there. Welcome to Behind the Lyrics for my brand new track, Happy Birthday. And um, yeah, I thought I'd just freestyle this one. I don't have a plan for how this should go, but um, I loved working on this track. Happy Birthday is a song. Yeah, that it's when I wrote down in my diary, like um, right underneath the name, I wrote Piss Take Zen. Um, because in a sense, like piss take, it's a bit of a piss take song in that it like pokes fun at um, young people, myself included, like my younger years, and just the, the, the struggle and the burden it is to fight against like your ego and your many insecurities and all the things that just cause you strife in your life growing up. Um, and also just the, with a little bit of like hindsight that I have now, not, not that I'm through all of that, but I'm kind of getting a little older. Um, I can kind of look back on that with a bit of, yeah, with a smile on my face. And in some senses, I'm like so happy that I've grown past those moments. And in other senses, I'm laughing at myself that I'm still there. Um, and I call it Piss Take Zen because on the other side of the song there are all these moments um, kind of speaking to some of the lessons that I believe are important in uh, acquiring some more enlightenment. Not enlightenment per se, but just being a little more enlightened than I was. Um, so like, congratulations, come a long way, you're important. Like when you're younger, you always think you're so important. That's the main thing. It's all about you. So why the long face? May you never take precautions. Like don't take too many precautions when you're young. Like this is, these are your years to fuck around, fuck it up. So happy birthday, yeah you got this, you look gorgeous. Like, I know you just care about how you look anyway, you look fine. Um, and then, even when it hurts, you can throw it in reverse. Like you really can't throw life in reverse, it's just going one way. And, um, you have to deal with the consequences of your actions. Come a long way, such a long way. If you need a hand, you can cry on my shoulder. Because I'm not going to uh, always give you a hand. Like, just have a cry about it and you'll be okay. Come a long way, such a long way. You want to grow up, but you just grow older. Uh, I love that line. That was one of my, my the favorite lines. Um, because I think that's like the essence of what mostly is happening. Like... <laughs> When I was younger, I remember looking at people who were older, especially like people just like 10, 15, 20 years older who seemed to have like a legitimate job and some direction in their life. And I was like, oh man, it must be nice to feel like them, like not to be so riddled with fear and worry and doubt about like my future. Um, and then I got older and I had some more security and certainty and a career path and some purpose, I suppose. And I realized, oh damn, like you don't really grow up all that much at all. Like as you get older, it's, um, you know, you want to you wanna grow up, but you just grow older. Like if I look around me at most of my friends, that seems to be the case. We're all just growing older and not always, especially in some cases, not always growing up. Um, so grab a bucket of beer for your shame. Like just drink your sorrows away. Fuck that. No, you can't bucket of beer no longer. Like, uh, oh yeah, you can't just keep drinking your problems away. Like, you know, you've already had all those problems. Like, there was a time in my life where you could just drown your sorrows. And then after a while, you're like, oh, I can't actually keep drowning my sorrows or I will end up in a rehab or I'll end up having to really deal with these situations on a level where you've seen people around you have to deal with them. And you're like, I don't want that. So life gets real. Um, I know it's seen there. Whatever's in there, get it out. You know, for all of us, like, it's in there. That darkness, that ugliness, the insecurity, the immaturity. And um, I think the thing I've been realizing is that, like, the buck stops with you, you know? Like, uh, we might all have, we have generational trauma we've got like genetic stuff going on with us we don't understand always that affects the way we act um, and we've got like 
nurture stuff like our upbringing and things that's happened to us that have kind of caused us to feel a certain way and um, no one's going to break that trauma cycle in those difficulties but you of course so there's a call to action at the end of the chorus which is like I know it's in there and whatever's in there get it out and then it goes on to the second verse which pokes more fun at people again like uh, I guess you'll find out what you got there in a crisis it wasn't easy no you've been there got your license so hallelujah, get it out there, fucking righteous. Just get it out there. And even when it hurts, you can throw it in reverse. Who knows what you're worth, yeah. Um, then it goes into another chorus. The part I wanted to also just add was the bridge, which has some resolution. Like if the most of the song is poking fun of people, myself included, the bridge kind of um, comes back and says like, um, it's not about what they told you, it's just how you feel, I'm only starting to discover what is real. Like, um, yeah, people, I think people tell you a lot of things growing up, you, uh, you believe a lot of stuff that people tell you, and as you get older you realize it's got nothing to do with what everyone else says, and it's got everything to do with how you feel about your life. Um, and how you're managing it and uh, and then there's a last line I wanted to say which was um, it's not about what they told you it's just like feel like I'm the sky it's not about what they told you it just happens to be tearing down tearing down and building at the same time yeah it's that last line of the bridge it just happens to be tearing down and building at the same time and I think that's like the essence of the song um, that's what I realized in my life is that it actually can all just be simplified to tearing things down, like walls and boundaries within yourself, lessons and like things that you learned that were wrong along the way that hold you back, breaking down that stuff and building up new stuff every day. Like that's what it's about. Like you've got to be, if you're not breaking down parts that you don't like, um, you're missing a trick. It's not just about like building. You've got to be breaking down at the same time. And if those things can happen uh, at the same time, you can be uh, building up the right things and tearing down the wrong things and find your way towards an easier place. Um, and until then, you can have a cry on my shoulder. Peace. <laughs>